Hi, Lee with Ames Community College here for another learning moment. Some students and I have talked about this number 0 0.433. It seems sort of pulled out of nowhere. Uh, and so I'd like to take a moment and talk about this number, how we use it uh, in industrial technology, what it means, where it comes from. So let's do a little exploration. Keep in mind that we're talking about pressure, specifically hydrostatic pressure. This means pressure of a fluid that's not in motion, it's just in some container. So we start with this equation. Pressure is some force per unit area, right? Okay, so we've got this. Now I mentioned a moment ago, it's a fluid inside of a container. So let's draw a container. If we have some box, it's one foot wide by one foot deep by one foot tall. And if we fill it to the very top with water, H2O, we find, if we were to put it on a scale, that the weight of this box would be 62.4 pounds. So we can say then that a box like this is 62.4 pounds for every cubic foot. Okay, well, you know, I look at this, I say it weighs 62.4 pounds, well, we're really talking about its mass, right? It has a mass of 62.4 pounds. This is a volume, so this would be some sort of mass. This would be some sort of volume. That, to me, sounds like a density. All right, so this is a density, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot of water. I think that's a good start if we recognize that that's a density. But don't forget we're talking about pressure, which is a force per unit area. Let's see if we can bring these two together. If I sort of replace this foot with 12 inches, and I replace this foot with 12 inches, then what I've got is the ability to talk about this bottom of the box, right, hydrostatic pressure, bottom pressure, the pressure felt on the bottom of a container. If I were to uh, maybe isolate, oh, let's say this square inch over here, or maybe even this square inch over here, right? It's hard for me to do that if I'm talking about feet on a side, but if I have 12 inches and 12 inches, then I can specify some square inch on the bottom. So maybe I want to take this and start to incorporate these inches. How would I do that? Well, probably the easiest thing would be to start with my 62.4 pounds in my cubic feet of water. And maybe I'll replace some of these feet with inches like I've done here. Well, let's see. If I've got a foot on this side and a foot on this side, that's 12 inches and 12 inches. 12 times 12 is 144. So there are 144 square inches in one square foot. Well, all right, so I can, uh, doing my dimensional analysis, doing my unit conversion, I can see that if I've got two sides here, I can get rid of two sides here. So I just scratch out the exponent, and I can't get rid of all three of these feet because I've still got this height that I'm dealing with, right? So then I bring all the things over. I've got 62.4 pounds. I bring this second term first. That's 144 square inches, and I've got this extra feet of height that I haven't really dealt with yet. Not too bad. We're just sort of playing with the units, right, to recognize that we really want to talk about a, a square inch rather than a foot on a side. If I divide 62.4 into 144, I find that that number gives us, ah, there we go. 0.433, I've got square inches and I've got feet down here. What if I rewrite this as 0.433 pounds per square inch right here, and then I've got this extra one over foot sort of left over, right? That might be a little more clear because then I can immediately recognize pounds and square inches. Pounds per square inch, that sounds like a pressure. We were talking about pressure before. 0.433 PSI, I can't forget about my unit, feet per feet, right? 
Okay, so uh, students and I have talked about this number, 0 0.433. We see where the number comes from, but what does it mean? We need to understand what we're talking about with this number. 0 0.4, oh my goodness, 0 0.433. Pounds per square inch per foot. Hmm. So I have this foot column of water right here. It's one inch on a side, it's 12 inches tall, and I have this number 0 0.433 psi ah, per foot. Okay, so for a water column that's one foot tall, the pressure felt in this square inch would be 0 0.433 pounds. Or put another way, the force felt in this square inch would be 0 0.433 pounds. So let me go back to this equation. What I'm saying then is we would feel 0 0.433 pounds, that's the force, over an area of one square inch. So the pressure felt here is 0 0.433 psi, but we need to recognize, we need to remember that that's only true if there is one foot of water above that square inch. So my question to you is what if I take another of these containers and stick one on top? What would be the the pressure felt on that same square inch with two cubic feet of water sitting on top of that. Think about that. Let me know in class. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.